The fight over the appointment of head priests at the Shabarimala temple seems to be headed to the Supreme Court. This is after the Kerala High Court dismissed petitions by some of the priests who wanted to apply for the post. For centuries, uh, non Brahmins could not uh, even uh, were, were, were not allowed to uh, acquire the knowledge and the skills necessary to be priests. But once uh, we became independent, we had a constitution and the uh, opportunity to be priests opened up to everyone and many people from many non brahmin backgrounds went through rigorous training they study sanskrit they study the traditions and there are the rigorous process of selecting them training them so they started to become priests and there are a large number of such priests in many temples which are the, the less lucrative temples like b and uh, group b group c temples in their petitions some dating back to 2017 they pointed out that the Travancore Devasam board was blocking applications from everyone other than Kerala Brahmins. And the Devasam board suddenly starts to put in a restriction, perhaps around 79 for the first time, that only Malayali Brahmins can apply, not even be appointed, can only apply. They're making, making an argument that if anyone but a non-Brahmin performs uh, worship here, all the spirituality will be drained out, will be gone, right? So uh, it's a vague claim. Um, and uh, which has no, no authentic uh, material to support it. So we have to see this tradition for what it is. It is simply an attempt to corner a very lucrative and, uh, you know, a very lucrative source of income and restrict it to a few people, handful of people who acquire their privilege by birth and not by merit. Professor Mohan Gopal, who represented several of the petitioners, said that the judgment did not address the main point raised by the petitioners. Judgment says that Article 14, 15, 16 were argued, was argued by us, but it does not consider or come to a conclusion that this tradition does not violate Article 15, 14, 15 or 16. There is no conclusion on that, that we are entitled to equality. We are entitled to not be discriminated against on the basis of caste. We are entitled not to be treated as untouchable because our touch will pollute. Uh, this um, uh, the, the the idol, right? That has no, that is uh, those are very specific claims of, of of constitutional rights. Those are completely ignored, and so the main issues that we raised have simply not been addressed or analyzed in this judgment. As the main argument is tradition has to be has to uh, there is a tradition that tradition has to be protected. It is the duty of the uh, Devasam board to uphold tradition. Mohan Gopal said the petitioners will soon appeal the case in front of the Supreme Court of India. We have two normative sources here. One is religious tradition, the other is a constitution, which is supreme. And when the court says that the religious norm is supreme and not the constitution, that's what I call a theocratic judgment.